Campbell is manning the battering ram. In the next scene, he's beside Wallace on a hill. Come on! When the battering ram hits the York's castle gate, the support wood for the castle falls and shakes the camera. Prince York. Edward reaches to remove the cover with his left hand, but when the angle changes, he is lifting the cover with his right hand. When the angle cuts back, his left hand is moving away from the basket. Longshank opens the basket, picks up the head and then drops the head back in the basket with the leather cover off. As he is about to throw Philip out the window, the leather cover is back on. Philip is thrown out the window head first and flips mid-air, so he should have landed on his back. When the Prince of Wales invites Wallace to talk about a truce, the whale on her chin keeps coming off her chin and going back on again between shots. Veil is on and neatly stretched. Did God make you the sucker of peaceful city? You ask your king to his face. Ask him. Veil is off. And you see if his eyes can convince you of the truth. Veil slightly covering her cheek. Veil is back on and neatly stretched. Two strings attached to the arrows behind Morrison and one string attached to the arrow that hits Morrison. When Wallace and Bruce charge towards one another, the eye slots on Bruce's helmet change shape. Eye slots are rectangular and wide. After Wallace is shot by an arrow at Falkirk, he breaks the arrow, leaving the shaft in the chest. The fake arrow shaft moves around all over the place. Wallace rolls on the ground with the shaft on his chest and doesn't die. And now the eye slots are very narrow. Wallace has his dagger out when he grabs Robert, but when he lifts up Robert's helmet, Wallace takes out his dagger again. Wallace falls down on his back and his hair makes the arrow shaft bend back. At the end of the Battle of Falkirk, among the pile of dead, one dead man moves. Woman lifts the head of a man and then puts it down. After he lets go of the head, the head tilts up and looks to the side. There are two children supposedly crying over the loved one, but the blonde girl trying to cover her mouth is actually laughing. When Wallace rides into Morris' bedchamber on the horse, Wallace's hair goes from combed straight back to parted to one side and back to combed straight back again. Wallace's chain is wrapped twice around his fist and the ball is dangling under his fist, but when Wallace swings down the chain is leading outwards from the top of his fist and is not wrapped around his hand. Wallace is about to smash Morris' head, it is replaced with a dummy. Fake horse falling like a stick figure and then floats. It's William Wallace, sure. The Scots on the roof show up out of nowhere in the few seconds that took Wallace and the gang to push the guards inside the hut. Far off in the distance at the bottom of the hill a car can be seen moving towards the camera. Boy in red tunic is the same boy that appeared early in the movie in a scene that supposedly happened years ago, but the boy has not aged. When Princess Isabel visits Wallace in the dungeon, she orders the jailer to leave the cell, and he pulls the door slightly closed but in a later scene, the door is open much farther. I come to beg you. <laughs> we'll die, it will be awful. Every man dies. Not every man really lives. Jailer appears at the door because he wanted to hear another famous Braveheart quote. Drink this. 
It will dull your pain. This will have broken me. I can't bear the thought of your torture. Take it. Look at Wallace's throat. He swallows before he spits the pain numbing medicine. No wonder he was able to endure the torture so well. As Wallace is taken to his execution, he's facing hair at dirty from the food thrown at him, but in the next scene, he is clean. When the rope is put around Wallace's ankles as he is about to be tortured, there are metal eyelets on the lace-up shoes he was wearing. During the mercy scene, a red-haired girl in blue briefly glances straight at the camera. The girl looks at the camera again. The executioner raises the axe over his head with both hands, but later the axe is shown raised over his right shoulder. Soldiers to the right of Robert change between shot. No ponytail soldier. I hope you've washed your ass this morning. It's about to be kissed by a king. Ponytail soldier. No ponytail soldier. Ponytail soldier again. Let's get it over with. In the final scene, Hamish Battle Axe Blade flaps as if made of rubber as he charges the English. Patriots of Scotland, starving and outnumbered, charged the fields of Bannockburn. They fought like warrior poets. That was the conclusion of all of Braveheart mistakes. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below. More movie mistakes to come next week. This is where we hold them! This is where we fight! This is where they die! And the shield boys! <laughs> Remember this day, man. For it will be yours for all time. Today's secret ingredient is... Mushrooms, crab, cheese, squash, duck, catfish, potatoes, buffalo, chocolate, coconut, pizza dough, hamburger. Cry out. Dude, where's my car? Chef Emily, you've been chopped.